Hey everyone, MTAS here, and today I wanted to talk about some free rewards that you can get in Genshin Impact with this new update, the Dragon Spine Mountain. Uh, the, the first one is the Event Sword, and I wanted to explain why this one's so amazing, but you can also get the brand new Claymore uh, for free. Now, I have a Refinement Rank 2 one here, but you can get this Claymore for free. You don't actually have to craft it even. So if you are uh, not, you know, in possession of any prototypes, that's okay. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole quest today. There's some videos on how to do the whole quest, but I wanted to talk about this because this is a very big step in the right direction uh, of this game. So there's already like five guides in this. I don't want to do a full guide, but there's going to be some secret quests where you're going and finding these boxes. There's like the princess box and the scribes bro uh, box, and you're going to find stone tablets. There's like eight of them around the map. Now you might have opened up this room. But if you don't interact with these torches and light them, you're not going to get the free Claymore. So some of you might have already been in this room, you might have done this part. But if you don't light these torches up, you won't get the free swords. So make sure you go back and do that if you haven't done that already. This might be news to you. I wanted to make sure uh, that I posted this. But this sword is fantastic. It is physical based, so that's going to be really good for people like Beto and Razor. And you have a chance when attacking to drop a crystal like this that does damage. Awesome. Anything that can allow us to avoid the gotcha system to get some good weapons for our characters, I think is a good thing. And with all these characters that you bring in the game, um, there's some cases where you have all of these different characters, but you can't use them. You can't upgrade them. You can't get weapons for them. And uh, I know on my account, uh, I was struggling to use a lot of characters because it's like, I don't have a weapon. I don't even have a four-star weapon for them. And getting this Snow Tomb Star Silver for free, this is a cracked weapon for Beto. It's very good on Razor. It's very good on Shin Yan. This is a godly weapon. And to give us this for free, without having to use any of our crystals or a prototype, is amazing. And uh, I think that the quest involved with it was pretty sweet overall. But this is just one of the free weapons that we got. And with the, uh, you know, the Dragon Spine Mountain, they essentially gave us another great spear as well. I don't know if you want to craft the spear, but they are giving you essentially a free spear. I want to talk about that. And then we'll talk about the sword, which is absolutely god tier. So by leveling up the tree to level 8, they're going to give you this prototype, which is fantastic. Love that, because it is going to be used in a quest right here. Uh, if you look at this quest on your, uh, on your journal, I don't know if you have it just yet, but the Festering Fang, you're going to go find some dragon's teeth, and you're going to be able to create this dragon spine spear. Now, this is a physical damage. It's got a, a lot of percentage here. This is double some of the other weapons, this physical damage bonus. So that's a, a very big physical damage bonus here, uh, and it's got essentially the same passive. Now, if you want to finish this quest, you're going to have to craft one of these spears, which is fine. That's fine. You're going to get some primo gems. You're going to get the spear um, and some experience. But this is a damn good weapon. Is it better than the Crescent Pike? I don't know for sure if it's better uh, mathematically, but this is a very good weapon. And if you want to refine it a few times, I don't think you're going to be crying about it. I don't think you're going to be upset about it. And maybe it might not be the best on Shangling right now, but maybe on another character down the road. I think it is really good on Shangling, don't get me wrong. But I'm just saying, even if you don't use this weapon right this second, it's giving you options down the road. I don't know who the you know the next four star or five star polar uh, polearm user is going to be or when they're going to be here. But having this weapon given to us is a game changer. <laughs> Dare I say this changes everything because um, you know this is just another weapon that we don't have to worry about and we don't have to hope that we get um, from wishing. Now this sword is nuts. So it gets uh, one point five times the amount of experience for leveling it during this event. So you'd be pretty dumb not to do that. You can save a bunch of materials. But the other thing that is crazy about this sword is they didn't just give us a four-star sword. They gave us a good, very good four-star sword. And on top of this, they're giving us all of the materials to ascend it and, and, and refine it for free. For free! There's no weapon in the game that has come out since the very beginning that you just get free refinements. That you get free experience on this. That you get that you get free, like, tier 5. And uh, if you look at this, we're getting elemental damage here. We're getting crit rate on this elemental skill. That is super powerful. This passive alone is incredible. 
And uh, knowing that I can level it up and get all that experience. But look at this. Look, 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 look. So we go into the event. If you go into the um, event details here, right? We've got these uh, these stages. It's not unlocked in my region yet. But for right now, we're getting these Primo Gems. But these are the materials to upgrade it. And in the next one, there's going to be more materials to upgrade it. And so essentially, all you're doing is using the, um, the Crystal Ore that you can farm very easily. And a little bit of Mora. But on top of that, they're giving you Mora here. Like, this is the Mora to upgrade the weapon, right? And then on top of that, go in the event shop. There are other wep uh, weapon upgrade materials. There's experience. There's Mora. There's everything you would need to not only level up these weapons, but level up a new character if you got a new character. Level up Albedo if you got Albedo, right? There's another one here, another shop with more items. These are the refinements for the sword. And this doesn't cost resin. Do you want to know how much resin is in here? Do you want to know how much resin worth of materials are right here? This is like 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120 minimum. And then we've got another like 80 resin here. Another 80 resin here. Well, maybe not. Technically not because you farm that. But uh, a whole bunch more resin here because I think you get like 30 of these or something like that. It isn't updated just yet. But we're looking at hundreds of resin given to us of materials that normally you would have to spend. Normally you would have to wait till the next day to get it. And the next day, and the next day. And to be handed this all right now, I, I just feel like, A, this is the best event yet. And B, with this region, this region was beautiful. This region was cool. This region had puzzles. This region had secrets. It gave a bunch of adventure rank experience. It gave a bunch of primo gems. I don't know how many primo gems that this region gave. In the thousands, probably. And with the event, this has me very hyped for the future of Genshin Impact. Yes, I hate the gotcha system. I've said it 9,000 times. But if they are going to give these things to players, and they're going to give it to them for free, this is progress that I'm very, very uh, proud of. Not proud of, but like happy for, like excited. It, it, it makes it a lot easier to recommend this game to people when I see things like this. Now, it does appear, oh, I'm going to be you know honest with you guys, it does appear 11 days, right, until this is done. It would be a mistake to not max this out as best you can. It would, it would be a mistake. Obviously, I know that there's Christmas and New Year's and other things going on. But the amount of rewards that we're getting here, and you don't have to spend any resin on it, is... I mean, it's amazing. It, it, it's flat out incredible, uh, the amount of rewards we're getting here. And it's relatively easy to do. People are saying that you can do it very quickly, uh, like max out all the stuff in the store. So it's not like it's going to be a huge time sink or anything. I would recommend getting it done because you never know when you're going to need some of these materials for a different weapon down the road or a different character or something like that. But I just wanted to make this video talking about this because I was really happy with this. Um, these weapons are, are, are incredible and accessible and I want more of this. <laughs> Now you're just going to give us a couple more free characters and the Tash Man's going to be really pumped up. But we got Fischl, right? We've gotten Barbara. Uh, we have gotten some free characters in the past and uh, hopefully we get more in the future. Not much more I want to say. Uh, it's Christmas. I'm going to go spend some time with my family. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. Thank you so much for subscribing and hitting that bell notification. Uh, thank you so much for, you know, interacting with my sponsors and just being there for me this year. This was the biggest year I've ever had on YouTube by a large margin. Uh, last year was my best year, and I was like, oh, there's no beating it, and we smashed it. I think we had 44 million views last year, and uh, we're approaching 69 million this year, so <laughs> nice. We'll see if we get to 69 million. Uh, maybe if you guys all like this video, we'll... But, um, yeah, that, that's it. I'm going to spend some time with family for the next couple days. And uh, I will see you soon. Okay? Bye-bye.